That's an interesting question. How would I describe myself? Well, I think I'm 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 calm. That that might be the case at the start line, but that's also in the, in the normal life. I'm uh, not very outgoing, uh, not very extrovert. I really like cycling. That's probably the, the part why I'm enjoying at the start line and why I don't look under pressure. I also learned during my career that. Yeah, trying your best is, the, is all you can do. Oh, when I was a little girl, I always wanted to be outside, play outside. Uh, not really hyperactive, but I, I really like to, to be active. And um, I also liked school. I was shy, so not really um, outspoken. As a five-year-old girl, um, my brother went into cycling, my older brother. Soon enough, I, I wanted to ride a bike myself and um, my parents got me the tiniest bike they could find. Yeah, when I was nearly six, I, I could join the club. As a kid, I remember our holidays going to watch the Tour de France and being at the side of the road. As a kid already, I was very competitive, and that's something sometimes I even think, come on, be, be calm. I mean, uh, you don't have, have to go for, for a win even in a, in a game. At junior age, I, I got into the Dutch national team, and at that point, I, uh, yeah, I felt, well, there is maybe a possibility to, to grow into this and to, to continue this. Yeah, it was very special. I was first year elite. I was ni ni just 19 then, and yeah, it was crazy to be to become world champion at that age. Well, winning at a young age definitely changed my life. Definitely, yeah. It, but also, I had to get used to the to the attention and uh, to the to the different life. Yeah, I've always liked cyclocross. I always liked the sport, the technique, the, uh, the intensity of it. Uh, that you just, from the start, you go all out until, until the finish. And the different circumstances, uh, the different surfaces. Track I have, haven't done for, for such a long time, but... Um, yeah, it, it, have, it has made me also some very, very special memories and uh, the points race in, uh, in Manchester uh, and then the Olympic Games in, in Beijing. Wow, <laughs> London 2012. Um, there's so much going on in, in, in my mind from, from the moment I crossed the finish. Um, from that moment, I, I can't even really clearly remember. Of course, the national anthem even the sun was coming out at that, uh, at that time. Um, it was a, a very, very, very special moment. Into La Course every year was, was very special after the first time on the Champs Elysees to be part of, uh, of, the, of the Tour de France on this, uh, on this day. I also thought there would be space to grow and um, yeah, now there's the, the moment that it comes from a one day race or to a, a eight day race to a full Grand Tour. To be honest, I never, never thought about being part of the, the Tour de France when I was at the side of the road cheering for, uh, for the guys and um, yeah, when, when we were on Al Duez or whatever finished place we were, um, yeah, being part of it now, that's, uh, that's of course some, something else. Every race has a story, if it's a, even if it's a win or even if it's not a win. And for me, uh, everything is, uh, is an experience. It's, it's hard to tell what people will think of, of me. I mean, you have your own impression from yourself, but what people from the outside think. Um, of, of course, they, they know I'm, I'm ambitious and uh, I want to do well, um, but that's, that's not the only thing I, I hope what I, they think of me. 
I don't see myself as a, as a star.